Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about the remnants of um, Odette, which is again gonna form over here. Now, I don't think it will be tropical. I think it will be subtropical. So, which means that it will have tropical characteristics and extra tropical characteristics so basically be a hybrid between both and we have now got another tropical wave this also is looking kind of good actually on satellite Madrid I'm not gonna lie a, tr a tropical wave located along the west coast of Africa is forecasted to emerge Offshore this evening, environmental conditions appear conducive for gradual development over the next several days. And a tropical depression could form late this week as it moves westward at 10 to 50 miles an hour across the eastern and central tropical Atlantic Ocean. And guys, we are in a slight landing right now. People thought we weren't going to get back into our La Nina. But to be honest, I knew that we were going to get back into our La Nina. Because um, the oceans were... Uh, the ocean in the East Pack was um, cooling down, so... So, yeah, anyway, we've got Peter... Which is moving nor more north than usual. At 17.6 degrees north and 56.5 degrees west. As you can see, here is the code of uncertainty for it. It could track out any it could track outside of the cone or and do that. Or it could do that. Well, it obviously won't do that. Or it could just change the track completely and head towards the coast. Like that. Or it could just do that. Or it could even just do this. So, Or it could just do that. Which is most likely... Um, the weaker the, the system, the weaker the high pressure system ridge. So, like, say if a system forms down here, it's going to do that. It will just turn completely towards the north. But if it's a bit stronger and like a medium ridge, it will possibly do this. Like that. But if it was like a strong ridge, it will do that. But if it's like a very strong ridge, it will definitely do that and push in towards the Gulf. So. It is, 40, it is 45 miles an hour now. And sorry for the late update. And yeah, I did say yesterday that I was going to update, update you guys at 7 o'clock UK time. But nothing really changed. You see. And we do also have Tropical Depression number 17. Which now, one more named Storm, we would have beaten 2004. 19 by name storms not so not so much hurricanes though but majors we're, we're pra we are practically on level with 2019 with three major hurricanes um 17 named storms and six and i think it's six hurricanes right now we just need one. We just need a couple more major hurricanes, um. So, so we can so we can get name. So we get another active season, but we're planning you obviously. We'll also have another above average season. So anyway, by next advisory, this should become a tropical storm. If wind shear slackens, if wind shear slackens, and not be a uh, Huge problem. Same with dry air. There is massive amounts of dry air. 
and it's drier in trade in in training into the circulation right now, which is stopping a storm from intensifying at at a significant rate actually to be honest with you. This is gonna have to be a very short video as my I need to save my battery because I don't have a Y well I do have a Y but I can't find it, can I? So oh, I find it. This man. So anyway This is Copper Verde this yeah, this is Copper Verde time, so two PM Copper Verde time or yeah or Cape Verde time. Couple, couple, yeah, couple of other time, whatever you want to call it. Show you tropical tidbit. This is gonna have to be a very, very short video day, indeed. Probably about ten minutes. But yeah. I'll wait a sec until it loads. Um, um, I know, yeah, guys, I am, um, I am, um, starting a gaming channel soon. So, you know, stay tuned for that. You know, because that will be, uh, that'll be awesome. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Also, stay tuned for more updates on storms and hurricanes and all that jazz. I'll show the model forecast first because the model forecast does indicate um, it might see a hurricane out of this system. I don't think it not not seventeen L, but the waves it's going off the coast of Africa, which we're in the suppressed phase of the MJO, but with La Nina. Storms can still form without the suppressed, without being in the active phase. And October will be in the active phase, which means that we'll get that next year will possibly be like a September last year, like very active. I mean, when I say very active, I mean super active. So, but anyway, enough of that. Um, so, I need to wait until it loads because it hasn't loaded yet. I'm so I'm sorry for the wait, guys. Um, wait. Tropical Tibbets is down tonight, so if I can't show you Tropical Tibbets, I'm going to have to show you Weather Nerds, it's WRF, 17 now, yep, yeah, they're down, yep, yeah, they've gone, yep, yeah, Tropical Tibbets is down, let me try reclosing the page. I'm so I'm sorry for you waiting, guys. I if you're still on the video, I appreciate it. Um. So. Yeah. Um. So anyway, um. I'm trying to get the GF. I'm trying to. Yeah, and you see it. It is definitely not. Yeah, Tropical Tibbets is down. So let me try putting it in again. 
That's why it took ages to load, you see. I can leave it to it loads, but it will take ages and you know, Tropical Tibets is down tonight, so yeah. Don't know why it's down. Probably the owner's probably trying to update their website or something. I don't know. But anyway. If you like what hurricane updates, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to show you weather nerds. I'm gonna have to show you weather nerds. I'm gonna have to show you weather nerds. I don't really want to show you weather nerds because weather nerds isn't really as accurate for forecast models. But. And I have to show you weather nerds until um, trouble good bits is up again. I will have to show you um, weather nerds update plot. All right, other regions, and I, I do know how to uh, work it. North Atlantic. There we are. Enemy no. forecast models. Um, I don't know which one to press. This is so confusing. Winds. There we are. You don't know how to make it more careful. Guys, I'll try I'll try tropical to bits again. Even though if they are down, I'll still Show you sound imagery. I won't show you models forecasts for the storms as um, as you guys already know what the model forecasts are because you guys can always look at the models in the morning. I'll look at the models in the morning. I'll I will talk, but just be a short. So. I'll do that for you guys. But, um, but yeah. The trouble because it is so, uh, it's down then. I'm soz. You know what? It doesn't matter. You're wondering why that's gone dark? It's because my battery savers came on, guys. So that's why. Anyway, Odette is meant to form again. Now, well, don't know if it will form again, but you no, know, we'll just have to wait and see. Because it is it is extra tropical right now. Um, Western Pacific we do have Invest ninety eight, but it does not look good. Like trust me, it does not look good. Peter does not look good, as well. To be honest with you. So, um, here is the satellite imagery of Tropical Storm PR, and yet, uh, 
Convection is firing over the um, center, the northern part of the center, not on the southern part on the latest frames. Let's have a look at the southern part. The northern part, you see, the southern part's all being all sheared right now. But then the northern part has more, more, you know, convection around the storm. Get hold of this bit here, it's got strong convection. You do expect some swells in um, Leeward Islands, which are down here. So, swells will be coming from down here. Um, but you do, do expect some swells as well, you know. So, you can produce swells from the, from here as well. Um, it's about that, guys. Um... But yeah, yeah, this is what the storm looks like right now. It's trying its hardest to put the convection wrapping around its system. If it does that, then it'll become a stronger system. But if the wind shear, it's west, it's, I think, yeah, it's southerly wind shear. Oh, wait, is it suddenly or westerly? It has to be southerly wind shear. Yeah, it's southerly wind shear. It's coming out from the south, which is putting this bit without any convection, and the whole of this bit here with convection. Do do get some rainfall off the of this system, even though it's so many miles away from you. But the center is moving like that. If you have a look at the center. It's moving north. So pinpoint where the center is moving. Pinpoint there. Uh, that's where the center is. So the center will be moving north. Like that. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Yep. I'm right. Yep. That's a perfect track as well. The track for this system went like this. So it actually went down a bit south to 15 degrees north. And that's back to 17 degrees north. So, you know, the system is kind of looking alright. It's not the best looking storm ever. But, you know, what can go wrong? What can go wrong? So... Yeah, I'll show you satellite imagery now for... For 17L. For DT 17L. Tropical Depression 17L. Or TD 18. Uh, TD 17, that's it. Let's call it TD 17. It does have a closed low, but as you can see, half of the centre is exposed. This bit's exposed due to some westerly wind shear. But it's meant to get out of that wind shear as it moves north. And it only has a small window to become a tropical storm before wind shear starts to slacken up again. And it doesn't really become as strong. But you know, the Cup of Verde Islands do get you can do get do expect some rainfall from this system. Um, any part of you any part of the island do do indicate some um, you know rainfall is not going to be that big as the convection is only on this side of the system, but. Do expect some swells though off this side, as you can get some sw swells as well. Even though this is the dirty part of the system, and that's not really the dirty part of the system. This bit is. So do you do you can get some expect some rainfall and stuff like that. This is a nice looking storm as well, but it's not as good as 
you know, um, Larry and that, Larry was, Larry looked beautiful, but, but yeah, um, anyway guys, if you, if you liked the video, I'm going to see if, um, Tropical to Bits isn't down, but yeah, if you do like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what video I should do next. It can be the winter for England and America. As you can see right now, it is dark in England, you know. England has saw some nice weather for the past week and a half. So, you know, I think La Nina was trying to form. I, 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 it's, a, it's a shame as well, because... Trouble Good Bits wasn't down earlier. Yeah, you know what? It 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 doesn't matter about Trouble Good. It doesn't matter about Trouble Good Bits anyway. Let's see, so yeah. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll keep you posted on these two waves. Even though Odette will form again, obviously I think it will form again. But you know, and we should have Sam out again. You know. Peter, Rose, and Sam, if TD17 just becomes Rose, then, you know, that will become Sam. But if TD17 don't become Sam, no, Rose, then this one will become Rose. But, you know, most likely that will become Rose, then Sam, and Peter. Then we'll have Odette, which will form again, but then obviously weaken again, obviously. As it moves north, because it's meant to do this, and then completely move north again. At this point, it might be subtropical, because it won't be tropical, because the waters are too cold up here. I'll show you why in tomorrow's video, but, yeah, inactive tropical tidbits isn't down again. But, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and see you on the next video. Peace, and have a good day.